In this video, I will be demonstrating this wire-wrapped bleeding heart. You can use this simply as a pendant, or you can make a pair and add a jump ring and earring findings to create an elegant pair of drop earrings. I have two red glass beads. This bead is drilled through the middle. This small teardrop bead is drilled at the top. I have a piece of 0.6mm copper wire. Thread the wire through the top drilled bead. Bend both of the ends of the wire upwards. Bend one of the wires straight upwards. Wrap the other wire a couple of times around the straight wire. Trim off the excess and make sure the cut end is tucked well in. Thread the other bead onto the wire. Make a bend in the wire above the bead. Use round nose pliers to make a loop above the bead. Wrap the wire a couple of times around the wire below the loop. Trim off the excess and make sure that the cut end is tucked well in. This is a 3 inch length of 0.8mm round soft copper wire. Find the middle of the wire. Make a 90 degree bend in the wire. Use the largest setting on bail making pliers to make a loop in both ends of the wire. Use the tip of round nose pliers to make a small inwards loop at the ends of the wire. Thank you. 
This is a 6 inch length of 0.8 mm round soft copper wire. Bring the ends together and cross them over. Pull the ends until you have a small loop in the middle of the wire. Bend the wire to the same angle as the sides of the heart. Thread the beads onto the wire and manoeuvre onto the loop. This is a 40 inch length of 0.2 mm copper wire. Find the middle of the weaving wire. Start wrapping from the point of the heart. Wrap the weaving wire four times around the side of the heart. Flip the heart and wrap four times around the other side of the heart. Place the heart into position above the loop on the other wire. Wrap twice around both wires. Wrap twice around just the outer wire. Repeat this pattern. Flip the wires to wrap from both sides. When you reach the curve in the heart, gently bend the outer wire to follow the curve and continue weaving. Weave until you reach the highest point in the curve of the heart. Gently bend the wire upwards so that it is level with the centre of the heart. Wrap the weaving wires around the single wires up to the point where the wires meet. When the wires meet, wrap one weaving wire around both wires and then around the nearest wire. 
Repeat with the other weaving wire. This is an 8 inch length of 0.4mm copper wire. Start with the weaving wire in between the two wires. Wrap the weaving wire around both wires for half an inch. Secure the weaving wire by wrapping it once around each individual wire, finishing with the 0.4mm wire between the wires and to the back. Trim off all the excess weaving wires. Separate the unwoven wires. I am using this small screwdriver to help me shape the bale. Bend the wires bringing the unwoven wires to the front. Cross the wires over each other at the base of the bale. Use round nose pliers to start making a small loop at the ends of the wires. Trim off a small amount from the end of the wires. Complete forming the loops. Switch to pliers with a flat nose to roll the wires into tight coils. This pendant was my first practice model. It is made the same way except that I have used a larger centre drill drop bead and each bead is wrapped separately. For the earrings I have added a jump ring and earring clasps. If you wish to make the earring shorter simply just use the teardrop bead.
Thank you for watching. Please join me for my next video.